Assalamu alaikum students. Wa alaikum salam. So today we want to look at al mabniyat. Let's say together. Al mabniyat. Al mabniyat is the opposite of al mu'rabat. And al mu'rabat means the words that have inflections at their end. While al mabniyat means words that have stagnancy al bina in their end. So don't forget that in al murabat we said al aslu fil ismi al arab the basis of a noun in arabic is inflections changes while in al mabniyat the basis of stagnancy is we say al aslu fil fail the basis of a verb in arabic is al bina it's always stagnant this means that the higher percentage of a verb in Arabic is stagnancy, while the lesser percentage, which is the al failu al mudare is having inflection. Are you there? Yes, sir. So there's a principle that says, wal hurufu kulluha mabniya. Let's say together. Wal hurufu kulluha mabniya. All prepositions in Arabic language, kulluha, all of them. Mabnija, they are end maintain stagnancy. So we want to look at al mabnijat properly now. We say they are al ismu ghayrul mutamakin. Let's say together. Al ismu ghayrul mutamakin. Al ismu ghayrul mutamakin means the nouns that do not have the capacity to change. Ghayru al mutamakin do not have the what the capacity to what to change they maintain stagnancy then the next one is al failul madi let's say together al failul madi all past verb in arabic language is mabnijun maintain stagnancy then the last is failul amri let's say together failul amri all command verb in arabic language the end maintain stagnancy. So let's look at the first one, which is alismu al muta makin. Sorry, alismu ghayru. Say is ghayru, not al muta makin. Alismu. غير المتمكن that is the nouns that the end are stagnant there are about 10 of them in Arabic language we'll focus more on the beneficial one to this class the first one is الضمائر let's say that الضمائر that's الضمير means pronoun are you there? Yes, sir. Abdamir means what? Pronoun. Abdamir means pronoun. For example, you say we have a lot of pronouns. We have huwa. For example, are you there? You say huwa fil mas jidi. Huwa fil mas jidi. Huwa fil mas jidi means he is in there. Mosque. So the he there is the pronoun, as usual, and you can see that the hand has fatha. What kind of fatha is it? It is the fatha that is stagnant. And that's why we say, Mabunijun ala al fatha. Let's say together, Mabunijun ala al fatha. It means that it is stagnant. It means a constancy of do or fatha, no matter the position in a sentence yesterday i taught you about a verse that says Kul inna huda Allahi huwa al -huda. you can see that the same huwa is occupying another position in a sentence and you still call it huwa it cannot change to hui or what or who are you there no matter the position in the sentence it has pattern so allah says Kul inna huda Allahi 
Who there? Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so Unna Huda Allahi Huwal Huda. So, what is the Huwa here? It's the same Huwa. So, it, here we also say Mabnijun Ala Al Fatih. Say what? Mabnijun Ala Al Fatih. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Abdul Kabir Al Huda here. What's the Arab of Al Huda, Al -Huda here? Kul Inna Huda Allahi Wal Huda. Al Khabar, Jazakallah Khairan. Now, the next one is. Ever say, Ismu Mawsulin. Let's say together, Ismu Mawsulin. Okay. What is Ismu Mawsulin? Ismu Mawsulin. Aw Ismun. Mosulun. Let's give it rougher. So Ismun Mosul means that it means that are you there? It means what? That not that boy. For example, you say, Where is that boy? Are you there? Where is that boy? Aina al waladu levi. Are you there? Aina al waladu levi. So all the Alevi and his family, they are in the category of Albina. Are you there? Yes, so you sir. say, for example, Allah says, Huwa Alevi Ba'afa. For example, Huwa Alevi Ba'afa. So we are focusing on the Alevi here. Are you there? Yes, sir. So a levy here maintains the stagnancy of sukun. And we, we told you earlier that al aslu fil mabniji and yusakana. The basis of any word that maintains stagnancy is that it has sukun. I can see the sukun here, so there is no argument about that. Are you there? Yes, so a levy here we say mabnijun ala sukun. Okay, let's give another meaning. Yes, mabnijun ala sukun means it is. It is Allah that raised. Ever say that? It is Allah that raised. Okay. So, so the next is okay. A levy. You meet to me, you meet to me. Are you there? Yes. The first thing that kills me. Are you there? Yes. You can see that a levy here is starting the words, the sentence. Are you there? Yes. And it's having the stagnancy of sukun. So you cannot say a levy, a levy, you. A levy ja in Arabic language because ja itself is a very heavy well harf is a very is a heavy letter in Arabic language. You're still putting al harakat on the ja again, makes it to be more heavy, especially when it takes dumma. Are you there? Yes, every letter with dumma on the letter makes it heavier. So you avoid it by saying a levy. And what we say is, uh, what we say it is heavy. Let's analyze together. Let's be more serious with the class. We are moving from Kesro. Are you there? It's very difficult for an Arab to move from Kesro to another letter, another vowel hub. So from a levy, you are going again. A levy, you. A levy, ye. A levy, ye. So it's, it pays an Arab to just give the Kesro, to just give. Yeah, in front that goes with the what with the castro. Okay, so let's look at other ones that have inflect that have stagnancy at the at the hand. So, for example, you say, um, okay, let's look at ismul ishara. Ismul Ishara. 
And ismul ishara means the, demonst the demonstrative noun. Are you there? Yes. So sir. we say ismul ishara. So what are the demonstrative nouns? The basis of demonstrative noun is hadha and hadhi. It's what? Hadha and hadhi. So you say, for example, hadha jayyidun. Or you say hadha jamilun. This is beautiful. Hadha jamilun. You can see the hadha here. What kind of stagnancy is it maintaining, Fatima? Is it fatha, is it kesra, or dhumma, or sukun? As sukun. As sukun. So, and it's going to maintain the stagnancy of sukun for forever. Are you there? Yes, sir. So, another example, you can say, marartu, I passed. Bihada. Marartu, bihada. It means, bihada. I passed by this. The hover is maintaining different position in the sentence, but it's maintaining the stagnancy. And I told you in the former class that Alif Harfun Khuliqa or Khuliqat Sakinatan is a letter that is created to have sukun always. So Yata'adharu Taharuku Al Alifi. It is difficult, are you there? Or it is never possible to what to give Al Alif haraka in a sentence never in a word never possible so that's why you still say the hadha ra'ay to hadha i saw this or jaa hadha this came or to be hadha i passed by this so other will never change so we say mabniyun ala as-sukun okay so let's give um let's give So we said the second aspect of al mabnijat So we have a lot of categories, but we gave you just three categories. So another aspect of mabniyat is failon maldin. Is what? Failon maldin. And failon maldin means the past, the past verb. So all past verb. You don't need to stress yourself. They are always that is, they are always having a stagnant end. For example, give me a sentence that starts with a verb. Yes. Accent. The boy, the man went to the principal or director of the school. Are you there? Yes. So we say, the Rajulu. So I'm satisfied with this sentence. The man, the man went. So you say, the So the you say it is having a stagnant end of fatha. You say mabniyun ala al fatha. Let's say together. Mabniyun ala al fatha. Another one is failu, failu amrin, failu amrin. And failu amrin means the command verb. So all the command verbs, they are having a stagnant end. Are you there? Yes, sir. So if I say, idhab, instead of saying, dhahaba, I will say, idhab. It's as if I'm commanding the person to what? To perform the action of going. So the end is stagnant with so that's why the basis of the past verb, the hand is fatha. The basis of the command verb, the hand is what? Sukun. So you say, idhab, mabnijun ala sukun. Mabnijun ala sukun. So let's have our class exercise. So Allah says, huwa levi Ba'atha fil ummijina. Huwa al-ladhi ba'atha fil 
Ummijina. It's Allah that raised among the unlettered generation of people a prophet among them or a messenger which who was the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so fatima pick four al mabnijat in this particular verse huwa huwa so huwa what type of al mabnijat is huwa al-dhamir another one is alladhi alladhi what type of al mabniyat is alladhi ismu mawsul ismu mawsul pick another one ba'atha ba'atha what type of al mabniyat is ba'atha fa'lu madhi fa'lu madhi and pick the last one fi fi what type of al mabniyat is fi harf harf ahsanti ila laqa'in akhar insha Allah assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam